Good morning, it's Mike Chen here in Chicago, Illinois. I'm about to take a stroll down memory lane via a buffet that I haven't been to, I think in about five years. And they've been closed down actually for a couple of years because of COVID and they just started opening up on weekends only. Now I've been to a lot of Chinese buffets, Korean barbecues, hot pots. I even been to a Filipino buffet, a Vietnamese buffet. This is the only Polish buffet. I have ever been to. I used to come here every single year when I visit Chicago. Haven't been able to visit for so long. Now they're open. Let's go buffet. People here are so incredibly nice. I just met, I, I believe, maybe one of the owners. It's so sweet. And they're only open on weekends. And she, as soon as you sit down, they ask you what kind of soup you want. You gotta get a Porsche. I like it for two reasons. First of all, it's delicious. First time I had this, I was in Poland. And I didn't know what a Porsche was. Oh God. I love it. Oh, I love beef soup. Anyway, like I said, a couple of reasons why I love this. First of all, it's delicious. Second, I kind of pretend I'm a vampire. Mm. Oh, there's an egg in the borscht. Mm. Mm. All right, buffet time, round one. If you guys didn't know, I used to work in comic books, so I would go to Chicago Comic Con every single year. I would always come here every single year, and I loved it. You don't often see a unique buffet like this, a Polish buffet, you don't see it often. This might be one of the only ones in the United States, and it is so good. I really do feel like you're in someone's kitchen eating the food, and this is the pig trotter. Look how tender this is. A lot of people might not be a fan of this, but try it out. Oh, it's tender. Fried chicken, so tasty and delicious. I don't know what sauce to be dipping what in. I feel like the pig trotter is good on its own. Definitely needs some sort of sauce. Fried chicken though, super thin, crispy skin. And it's cooked so well. Maybe pair this with a little bit of sauerkraut. Mm. Stir fried sauerkraut goes so good with the meat. This is my favorite part. Gnawing on the bones with all that great cartilage and tender. I'm well, the only buffet in the US. You're gonna find a whole giant pig trotter. If you see one, I recommend you take one. The reason I love this so much, it's got a little bit of everything. Nice meat, good amount of fat, super gelatinous -y texture from the skin. These are stuffed beef rolls, stuffed with mushroom. My plate looks kind of messy because I put dill sauce on everything because I am such a big fan of dill. Mm -hmm. Go try a beef roll. Oh my goodness, that's good. Mm. Mashed potatoes, so creamy and amazing. Got these little gnocchis here. That pretty much pairs well with anything. The food is gonna be heavy, so... Pace yourself, you're gonna wanna try everything. All right, round two.
Oh, there's so much meat on this buffet. A lot of pork, a lot of beef. This round, a plum stuffed roasted pork. All right, so good. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so good. And Christine came back with a plate full of green beans. Yeah, I never eat green beans. You never eat green beans? Oh, yeah, you don't eat vegetables. <laughs> Are these that good? Mmm, there's so much garlic in that. Yeah. That's great. This is a cheese blintz. Mmm, that's delicious. Tastes like a soft crepe with some kind of cream cheese inside. It's got this great fermented flavor. Mmm, the brisket. It's got a fat on this piece. The brisket is so tender. Mmm. I didn't expect that to be this tender. Right? I'm glad you got the green beans. I, I'm like, my plate is basically meat overload. Potato pancake dipped in applesauce. Mmm. Still crispy. I remember my favorite things here were the pierogies. I saw them, like I had a full plate of food. I didn't want to disrespect the pierogies by putting it alongside of other food items. I mean, everything's good, but the pierogies, they deserve their own plate. Round three, fried fish, meat croissant, stuffed cabbage, meatballs, ribs, and pierogies. I was gonna get a plate full of pierogies. Saw all the other stuff I needed to try. Couldn't help myself. Stuffed full of meat and rice. Just freaking amazing. Isn't that good? Oh, I saw a plate. Christine took a plate full of stuffed cabbage. Wow, the cabbage is so light. It melts in your mouth. And of course, meat inside. Scrumptiously juicy, so much flavor. Rip, a little chewy. That flavor is so good though. You taste the smoke, a little sweet, a little spicy. And this is a meat pierogi. Mm. I wish I brought my hot oil to dip that in. That hot oil would be perfect. Mm. I'm not an expert on schnitzels. I'm not. I've been called a schnitzel a bunch of times. That's a good schnitzel. Schnitzel, pierogies, cabbage rolls. Favorite thing on this plate. Mm. Rips pretty good too. Desserts look awesome. Got a couple cheesecake, couple mousse, apple strudel, apple cake, plum tart. Mmm. Did they make this here? I think so. No. I think they, make everything. they make everything, right? Oh, this is unbelievable. Mmm. I want to spread this all over my life so it can become smoother. Mmm. Oh. The lemon mousse. Every bite just makes you want to pucker up and kiss it some more. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Their mousses here are incredible. And all sorts of different cheesecakes. Desserts here are mind blowing. This is so good. A delightful Oreo crust. The cheesecake itself is so light. I will come here just for desserts, mm -hmm. I, right? Yeah. Wow, apple strudel. I kind of destroyed it a little bit. Mm. Love the food, in love with the desserts. Well, that was a pretty delicious stroll down memory lane. Like I said, every single year, work 
the Chicago Comic Con, and before heading back to New York, always will stop here. And the menu changes all the time. I think the last time I was here, they had strawberry pierogies. Anyway, if you're into all you can eat, if you want to try out traditional Polish food, I can't think of a place better than this. Goodbye, Chicago. Dim sum first. Well, dim sum has hit a snag. This, this, this is my car and someone parked illegally. I'm parked in this parking lot and this is my car and someone parked right, right, right here. There's a car on either side of me, really, really close and I can't get out. Call the parking lot and there's pretty much nothing anyone can do until this this person wakes up and moves his car or maybe someone on either side of me wakes up and moves their car so the driver next to us showed up and he was kind enough to let us out so we are free but it is we were stuck for two hours so no them so still gotta find some food though just dropped Christine off at her appointment. I got about a couple hours to kill. And of course, starving since we missed dim sum. Luckily, there is a Giordano's nearby. So in terms of popular Chicago deep dish pizza places, so far I've been to Gino's East, Luminati's of course, Pequon's. So might as well check this one off the list too. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's a nice cheese ball. Thank you so much. Might have been a little ambitious for just little old me, but we'll see what we can do. This is a good looking slice of pizza. It's just covered in meat and sauce. Tons of cheese, beautiful golden butter crust. Oh, that is flaky. I've never seen deep dish pizza flaked like this before. Again, covered in so much cheese and sauce. Let's look at the crust. Completely different than Pequon's. Crust is really, really thick. Look at this. That's a very, very thin crust. There's definitely more ingredients than crust on this pizza. A layer of pepperoni, layer of beef, layer of ham. This is amazing. Mm. What sets it apart, besides the great ingredients, the sweet tangy sauce, the amazing quality of the cheese, as you can see, The crust is 100% sets us apart from anything else I've tried. Look at this meatball on the bottom too. Look at how thick the toppings is compared to the thin little crust. And the crust is so buttery and flaky. Mm. This is a pizza where you're basically just eating ingredients. It's just unbelievable. Look how thin that is. I'm surprised when I lift this, the bottom crust can support the weight of all the ingredients that's on the slice. This might actually be my favorite Chicago deep dish pizza by far. Mm. I love a crust that crumples, that melts in my mouth, that doesn't make the pizza taste doughy, that doesn't take away from the ingredients. This pizza checks all those boxes. My only regret, I ran out of hot oil on this trip. Is this with hot oil? Let's imagine the possibilities. You know, at times like these, when I wasn't supposed to even come here today, I'm glad that guy trapped my car. I couldn't go to dim sum. I wouldn't have found my favorite deep dish pizza in Chicago. So I managed to finish about half the pizza, but even then, it still weighs a ton. Couldn't really eat that much for brunch because gotta go pick up Christine and uh, go get brunch. Number two. I know I was just talking about how no dim sum leading to getting great pizza and then just having dim sum anyway. 
I'm at this restaurant called Mi Hen Cuisine. I think this place is all around Chicago. I remember the last time I had dim sum. I think it was when I used to live in Seattle. If you never had chicken feet before, dim sum is where you want to start your chicken feet adventure at. And I recommend you do. Mmm. I think the biggest blockage about chicken feet, you just gotta get over fat, they don't wear shoes when they're running outside. It's the only thing. Oh, everything tastes so good here. Might have been so long since I had dim sum. I've actually never had a salted egg yolk in a crusted bun vessel before. Oh. Heck yeah. Oh, this is delicious. I certainly haven't done this in such a long time. Pork, chive, and shrimp. Crushed it, thinly wrapped, and seared. Delicious. Mm. Mm. That's a deliciously tender, crispy roast pig. I think the skin could still be a little crunchier, but that's pretty darn good. Overall, really, really good dim sum spot. The waters are lying out the door at two o'clock on a Sunday. That was a fun week here in Chicago. It was the most I've ever tried to explore the Chicago food scene. And I'll definitely be back because this is the closest city to St. Louis. I think about four and a half hours. So if there's other places I need to go to in the greater Chicago area, which I'm sure there are, guys, please let me know. As always, all places I went to, listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.